Hey there, welcome to Tales from the Borderlands. My name is Madden Wellens. So, this is a telltale game, which means choose your own adventure, your decisions matter, blah blah blah, the whole shebang. And I think this will be a pretty interesting title from Telltale too. Now, my familiarity with Telltale games pretty much extends from The Walking Dead, 400 Days, Season 2, Wolf Among Us, to Game of Thrones. That's pretty much the whole entire catalog in recent years. And most of those titles are on the more serious end, which is pretty much in direct conflict with the Borderlands style. FYI, I have played through the first two Borderlands, not the prequels, so I, I think I have a pretty good idea of what the Borderlands comedy style is like. But yes, comedy doesn't mix well with seriousness. So it'll be really interesting to see if Telltale can pull off that that same humor that Borderlands can. I don't really know much about the initial setting of the story. Well, I assume it's set on Pandora or whatever, right? And these must be our two main characters. Is it like... Not sure if it's like a thing where we can choose one of them or do we choose both of them to control. But I did notice that the guy is a Hyperion employee or something. He has his vest. When he turns around, you can see the Hyperion logo. This girl some sort of, I don't know, mercenary figure? Reminds me a little bit of, um, oh, what's her name? The Siren from the first Borderlands, was it? Yeah. Well, anyways, like I said, I'm looking forward to see how it plays out, the clash between the two styles of writing. So let's take a look. Episode 1, Zero Sum. Okay, so it seems like we're gonna see some characters from at least Borderlands 2, because Zero is a character from the second one. And I suspect, yes, we can see some previews of the next episodes too, but it doesn't really mean anything to us, so let's go! Ooh, this game series adapts to the choices you make. The story is tailored by how you play. Back again to hear another story of immense fortune and unthinkable peril. Well, I have some time. The borderlands of Pandora were told to contain mysterious alien treasure troves filled with advanced technology and incredible power. Vaults, the people called them. And to seek one out was to earn you the title of Vault Hunter. At least by me. You could say Handsome Jack was one such explorer, though his methods could be seen as uh, somewhat unsporting. He ran the corporation Hyperion, and died trying to claim Pandora as his own. History's attention is fickle, my friends. It will remember those pirates like Handsome Jack, but forget the adventurers who risk it all for less... Uh, Obvious rewards. Stories. Legends. Those are much better at getting at the real spirit of things. Stories remember both sides of the tale. Waiting for that Cage the Elephant song to kick in. There ain't no rest for the wicked. Money don't grow on trays. Fiona! Come on, we can work this out! Fiona? What, is there some sort of radiation leak I don't know about? Oh. Reese. Company man, you. Oh my god, is that a bullet? So, who 
are you? I ask the questions. Okay, then... Do you mind asking yourself who you are? Is that Troy Baker? Oh! <laughs> what the hell? Tell me about the Gordas Project. <laughs> is that what this is about? <laughs> Look, Gordas is bad business. If you want a real hot investment, I am on the ground floor of some property on E. Okay, 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 okay. Don't be a smartass. I'm not a patient person. So just start talking. Just where do you start when you're getting dragged through the desert and, uh... From the beginning. Right. Hyperion. I guess it all started with a promotion. See, I'd spent my entire career up at Hyperion, so I suppose that makes me one of the bad guys in this story. And Handsome Jack, he was the you baddest was guy of them all. This long. It must feel good I to find to be it, just you know? like him. Take it. It's yours, right? <laughs> I mean, you always said that. <laughs> Everyone did. I gotta be honest, I always thought it was sort of cheesy, but, uh, but hey, here Which we are. Which resulted in a company overflowing with assholes. <laughs> Animals. When Handsome Jack died, it somehow got even worse. It took some time to fit in. But a few stabs and select backs, a new haircut, and the help of a couple friends, I was on my way to get the promotion that was going to change my life. Scratch that. Our lives. For the better. I was a little distracted. It was a big day for us. Luckily, Vaughn was concentrating on the important things. What's the first thing you're gonna buy? I know what Henderson's making. I do his payroll. Vaughn, my best friend. If you're getting a fraction of what he earns, you'll be rolling in it. Yeah, there are a couple sweet rides I've been looking at. More fitting of the position I'm gonna be in. Where the hell would you even drive that thing? We're in space. I wouldn't actually use it. It would be... More for looks. Oh, right. Well, then that's a great idea. We're meeting with a vet afterward to celebrate. She booked us a table. Yep. Sounds good. Look, we had to do a lot of awful stuff to get you to this point. Do I regret some of it? Sure I do. Every night it haunts my dreams, but that doesn't matter now. Because you made it. You deserve this, man. And don't ever think you don't. And don't ever think about the Iridium Mine deal we put together. Hey, hey. We made it, okay? We're in this together. If I'm moving up, we're all moving up. You can be certain of that. I appreciate that, Reese. You know, people around here have short memories when it comes to that stuff. You, me, Yvette, we're gonna run this place. Yes, we are. All right, man. Let's get that Hyperion face on. Oh, right, yeah. We need some condescending. It's a little too friendly right <laughs> now. Okay, tell you what. Tilt your head back. Uh, like if you ask me if there's anything up your nose. How's that? There you go. You don't respect me at all. Perfect. Mr. Henderson? Have a seat, Reese. I'll just be a second. No, I wasn't talking to you. Yes, I'm talking to you now. Yeah, but I don't want it in red, I want it in black. Because black is better. Look, don't concern yourself with why, okay, Jerry? Concern yourself with how. And just send the car over when it's ready. Company car, didn't even have to ask. Uh-oh, I don't think we got the promotion. You look surprised to see me, Reese. And if I'm reading the situation right, and I usually am, you're not too happy about it either. This all came together quick. So, you might not have been in the loop. So where's Henderson? He, uh, stepped out. You're going to be reporting to me now, Reese. And I want you to know the promotion that you worked so hard to get. That's still coming to you. Well, that's a relief. 
because I... But this is about more than that, Reese. It's about your future in this company. Look, you want to know the reason why I'm in that chair and you're not? For the exact same reason why North is North. Why the handsome guy always gets the girl. And why every spaceship in the universe is shaped like a cock. Screw you. It's destiny, race. And men, real men, men like me, make their own. And you could hold a grudge if you like. No harm, no foul, your thoughts are your own. But bad things can happen when you swim against fate. Sometimes men find themselves standing in the way of other men's destiny. You don't want to be that man. That must be Henderson. Wow. I could not have timed that better. That really helps dramatically make my point. Which is this. This promotion is going to take you out of the way of other people's destiny. And put you on your own path. And that, my friend, is why I am promoting you to... Jerry, why isn't my new car digistructing in my office yet? Vasquez, it's August. Oh, August. Uh, yeah, cool, listen. I actually have somebody here with me, so... Uh... Are you buying this vault key, or what? Because I... How did this happen so quick? I thought I'd have more time. Of course I'm still interested. I... Yes, I'm near a computer. Ten million. Yeah. It's just that's a lot of money to get together on short notice. What's going on? I mean, I'm not trying to be obstinate, but I need time. Ugh. Why do the biggest scumbags always uh. have the best view? Three years sucking up yeah, to the yeah, eye. Yeah, 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 no, but out the window. Not sure how familiar everyone is with Borderlands. Do you want the money or not? Cause I... But Hyperion is a weapons manufacturer company. It's not. No, it won't be a That adds a little bit of context to it, and it was the company headed by the main antagonist in Borderlands 2. <sighs> yes. It should be me. Only less Vasquezzi. Yeah, that's what we had before. Oh my god. So we got some implants. In Echo Eye mode, you can scan items or remotely access nearby electronics. Saul Henderson. Age 47. Occupation. Senior VP. Former. Favorite donut. That kind with the sprinkles. <laughs> that is not well. What a waste. Such a nice suit. Why are you turning this into a whole thing right now? Pandora. One natural moon. Pandora's potential for profit is rivaled only by its potential to kill you within minutes of setting foot on its surface. Look, I'll have to call you back. Fast kiss. Hugo. Species Homo sapien. Origin Demophon. 35. Blood pressure. Personal catchphrases. Rock and roll. Lock and load. Ain't no thing. <laughs> oh, God. Alright. Let's see what this is about. Holographic computer monitor. Cost expensive. Class high. <laughs> Ooh. Let's view that file. No, it won't be a big deal for me to get. Yeah. Vault key. Yes, he wanted to buy a vault key. A vault is something that only opens once every like 200 years or something like that on Pandora. Why are you trying to screw me on this? Oh, fine. Just wait there, okay? I can only be down it. If it's gonna be $10 million, I'm gonna need another hour or two. Okay. Yeah, I'll be there in a bit. Well, then just stay there. It's a tourist shop, right? Buy a mug or something. Sure. 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 Okay. Say hi to your mom. Damn it. Oh, right. Now, what were we talking about? Before we were so rudely interrupted. Uh, I think it was something about buying a vault key. Right? <laughs> oh, just like that. Buying a vault key, right? You're like a kid sounding out the words. 
All right, your uh, promotion. Henderson was a fool. He didn't know his place. He needed lesson number one. Humility. But you, I respect you, Reese. Whatever, That's man. That's why I'm gonna make you assistant vice janitor. What? Wow. No, no, you, you, you can't. I'm the boss now, Reese. I do whatever I want. Report to Sewage Scout 23. Effective immediately. You can't humiliate me. I quit. Careful now, kid. The only way you quit Hyperion is the way Henderson did. You're dismissed, Reese. Screw you. I'll let you know when I need my trash can emptied. Just to shut up. What the hell was that? He can't do this to us. He just did. No. No, no, this can't be happening. I'm finished, Will. I'm finished. You know this place is. There's blood in the water, and everyone can smell it. No, 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 they can't. Not yet. Unless you don't quiet down. We just gotta... <laughs> oh, shit. Vice Janitor Reese to Sector D451 for trash cleanup. Because that is your job now. To oh clean my up God. trash with your bare hands. Sorry, you were saying something? I interrupted you. Reese, why are you cleaning up trash? That's what I, I want to know. I thought you were getting a promotion. Trash duty seems like the opposite of a promotion. Huh. Vesquez screwed me out of the promotion. He threw Henderson out of an airlock and demoted Reese to trash man. Holy crap. So does that mean you're not buying? Yvette, your other best friend. Well, just try and lighten the mood. And I didn't bring my wallet, so if someone pays for me... I'll tell you who's gonna pay. Vasquez. I don't know if he's the type we to... We can't let that prick get away with this. We need to do something. He just killed a guy. Maybe it's better we lay low for a bit. What? No way. We hit back. We steal his deal. We steal his deal. Yes! That is what I'm talking about. What are you talking about? Vasquez set up a deal on Pandora for a vault key. Whoa. That must be why he got the promotion. The only thing Hyperion cares about more than money is its vault keys. It's perfect! I mean, not only do we screw over Askez, we have a friggin' vault key! I mean, what are they worth? Like a billion dollars? More. Yeah, but we need ten million dollars right now to make the deal. Hold, please. Done. Damn! I'm not gonna lie. That was impressive. I'm in accounting. I mean, it's what I do. Ten million bucks is chump change around here. By the time anyone notices, we'll have a vault key. Cool. Well, looks like you boys got it all figured out. I'm gonna go eat. Alone? Call me if you don't get killed, Whoa, whoa, whoa. Right? Hey, hey, we need your help. We need clearance, transportation. You're a requisitions master. We need that stuff. Yeah, maybe a loader bot or two. You know, things get dicey. Look. It's one thing stealing from a bunch of poor suckers on Pandora. You're talking about stealing from Hyperion. But we're friends. Friends help each other steal stuff. I mean, that's how it works. Richter used to steal candy bars. His family still doesn't know where the body is. Come on, I'll buy you the lunch I owe you when we get back. Fine. But you're yeah. buying the lunch now and when you get back. No. <laughs> Done. We only got a couple of hours. Go withdraw the cash. I'll get you guys clearance to Pandora, get you geared up, and issue you a standard Hyperion town car. What? Standard? Really? I mean, you can't spring for premium? Seat warmers, maybe a convertible or something? Sure, yeah, a convertible. So, just so I got this straight, you want me to get you a car to drive around Pandora that leaves you less protected, right? Look, it just... You're gonna steal something, I uh, figure... No. No, don't worry. I've got a car in mind. Vasquez's car, maybe? That would be pretty nice. Oh? Oh! 
So we're on Pandora now. You could see Hyperion up in the sky. The iconic H. Okay, I want to be completely honest right now. Usually I would not talk this much during a cutscene, but there is a song in the background and I'm trying to avoid copyright problems. Forgive me. <laughs> Vasquez's car, all right. Oh my god, that sound, that- what is that thing called? That pterodactyl thing? Along with that desert setting really reminds me of when I first played the first Borderlands game. Which must be quite a few years already by now. How did they even steal Vasquez's car so quickly? I thought he didn't buy it yet because he was on the phone talking about it earlier. But I guess, you know, pull a few strings here and there with Vaughn, the bean counter. Oh my god, I hope there's no accountants watching this right now. And uh, Yvette, requisitions. Yeah, pull a few strings here and there. Although, we really didn't need to pick this car unless if we wanted to pick a fight. Roadkill. Holy freaking crap, what was that? What? What do we even- oh, What do we why? even hit? Why? Oh, I hope that wasn't why like a really ugly person. What'd you cross right there? Oh, crap. Oh, they don't even know what that is? I think we- I think we killed it. Are we murderers now? We're, we're murderers. We're murderers. Yeah, it's great, just a great. Skag. Murder. Relax, Vaughn. It's a skag. They breed like hostile rabbits down here. Still, it's kind of sad. Yeah. Kind of. So, what do we say if someone asks where we got the money? What do you mean? Well, I mean, what do we tell people? We should have a story. I, mean, I would prefer not to tell them that we stole it from Hyperion. That would not go over well. I just think we need a plan of some sort. We just need to create some sort of distraction. What? How? Oh, hey, your fly's down. Huh? Huh? I don't think that's gonna work. <laughs> so, this looks not good. <laughs> Got ourselves a hero here. I guess they've never been on Pandora. What are you looking at? It's Pandora. What did you expect? Yeah, no, I know. Uh, I, I guess I'm just now more acutely aware that I have ten million dollars chained to me, is all. In a neighborhood, I might add, of back planet nut jobs. Just keep your eyes open for the place, okay? I don't want to be here any longer than we have to. Yeah. And uh, watch the money. Oh, really? Listen. One tap on the arm, and Yvette can send down a loader bot if things get too entertaining. That's true. And she gave me this. It is a stun baton. I do not know how it works, but it's definitely neat. Yeah, stick. Neato. God, I can't wait to be in that chair. You and me, Yvette. I mean, we bring this key back, and they're gonna make us the once and future kings of that place for sure. They'll send in a crew to use the key. And then that's it? Yeah, yeah. We'll pop champagne and everything after we get back with the key. Ah, come on. It's in the bag. The tracker's beep, beep, beeping, but I don't see the place. It's the world of curiosities, right? Yeah, do you see it? Jesus. No. Could ask one of them. They seem normal-ish. Normal-ish enough, anyway. Or you could ask one of them. You're the closer, right? So close. Get us some direction. This car is kind of flashy. 